Everywhere you look in life today, there's plastic. Plastic in your seas, your food, even in your babies. But why is that? And is it necessarily a bad thing? Today, we're going to be talking about microplastic maxing and why some may choose to intentionally increase the amounts of microplastics within their body. Personally, I'm more of a plastic cell, choosing to leech max in order to transfer plastics from my blood into leeches, but to each their own. To start, we're going to need to talk about what microplastics are and how they became so prevalent. It all really started with the invention of polyethylene plastics and their ability to be lightweight whilst still having a high tensile strength as well as their ability to be mass produced cheaply. Polyethylene is just a long chain of ethene molecules and it's because of these long chains that make it super versatile. You can even add crosslinks to make them tougher which is the underlying process behind vulcanization, which is something we will be getting back to later on in the video. These polyethylene plastics account for around 75% of all plastics created and they were used in cooking ware, to manufacturing, to even in the process of creating plastics. You might wonder why no one took a step back to think maybe the introduction of plastic into everything and anything might have unforeseen consequences. But, like most of history, the sowing is always way more fun than the reaping. So production continues to skyrocket as more and more materials are replaced by plastics and Eventually, a team of researchers published a paper saying, yeah, the oceans are just full of these plastic things, which makes the entire collective scientific community say, shit. And now wherever they look, they find these pieces of plastics that were smaller than a grain of sand, just everywhere. They even found them in the deepest parts of the Mariana Trench, as well as the most remote parts of the North Pole. Okay, so microplastics are everywhere. So what? Well, if you know anything about toxic accumulation in the food chains, You'll know that as smaller organisms eat and intake pieces of plastic, the organisms that eat them take in larger and larger quantities of that same plastic, and that the farther you go on the food chain, you'll be accumulating more and more of the toxin. Which isn't too bad if you're on the bottom of the food chain. So let's see where humans are. Oh. Yeah, that's kind of bad. Plastics are now everywhere, and as someone who wants a plastic max, how can you increase your plastic intake? Don't worry, Papa Stick has you covered with his patented Plastic Uptake Acceleration Plan. It's pretty simple to follow and it's more of a tier system than a plan with different levels of dedication at different levels. Step slash tier one is for the fledglings and is mostly about increasing your proximity to plastics by using plastic utensils when you eat and microwaving your food in plastic bowls as well as drinking from plastic water bottles. A litre of bottled water contains about 250,000 pieces of nanoplastics, which, after using my plastic brain math, equates to around 0 0.007 to 7 times 10 to the minus 6 grams of plastic per litre, and around 5 grams of pure plastic per year, which is a good start, but obviously this won't satisfy the more hardcore of the plastic enthusiasts among you. The second tier is for plastic aficionados, people who skip the middleman and are directly eating plastic and incorporating it into their daily meals. A little LDPE salted onto your morning eggs for a bit of flavourless flavouring. And to finish, they use a strip of plastic as a toothpick, all of which are guaranteed to put millions of parts of microplastics into your body. Chew on plastic bottle caps throughout the day and leave plastic water bottles in the sun so that the UV rays can create more nanoplastics in your drinking water. Also, start using plastic straws again. Turtles be damned. Sacrifices have to be made and those extra microplastics won't ingest themselves. Now that you've increased your plastic consumption to near maximum, you might be wondering what the third tier of this list will be. But that's esoteric knowledge, only allowed for the most dedicated of plastic maxes, and something that I can't just share with the uninitiated. Okay, the Plastic Council have probably clicked off the video, we can get into the third tier. They would have committed unspeakable evils against me if they knew I was sharing this, but thankfully, they aren't watching anymore. The third tier is for plastic arc mages and involves the ingestion of vehicle tyres. I told you we were going to get back to vulcanisation. Vehicle tyres have been found to be responsible for over 78% of the ocean's microplastics and ingesting tyres after boiling them and putting them in a tyre soup will be putting millions of nano and microplastics in your body. The average person can eat around 2 kilograms of food per day and tyres weigh around 7 kilograms. So, every 3 days-ish, you can eat a tyre, putting it at around 100 tyres per year. 7 kilograms can create up to 1.4 million microplastics, putting you at a nice 140 million microplastics per year. Given a full 70 years of adulthood, 
puts you at 10 billion microplastics in one lifetime. Now, what is the point of collecting all these plastics, you might ask? Well, the final goal of microplastic maxing is to spread the plastic, and with your 10 billion pieces of microplastic, you're going to have a natural burial upstream so that the particles can flow through ecosystems and become more widespread, thus restarting the cycle of plastic and increasing global plastic contamination. The final goal of plastic maxes is to increase the presence of plastics globally, and what a better way of doing this than becoming an eco-terrorism bomb. You can go through all of that, or you can just be the Chinese government, which is the cause of nearly one third of all plastic pollution. So tomatoes, tomatoes, I guess. Well, that's the end of the video on how to plastic max. And as you can see, the Plastic Council were apparently still watching and now are going to torture me. But if I manage to convince you about microplastic maxing, consider hitting the like button and maybe subscribing. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye.